Ronald Onions, also known as Uncle Ron, has had difficulty adjusting to life behind bars. He received two broken arms during a fight with a fellow inmate. He is scheduled to be released in 2012. Gladys Dunn used the money from her second book to buy a farm in Spain. She lives on the land with her son Joshua Dunn, who makes curry, stew or paella every day for the 30 former Fort Harmony residents who join them. Gladys jokingly refers to her farm as Fort Harmony too, but warmer and without the mud. Kathy Dunn sold the Land Cruiser, purchased a Round the World Air ticket and went backpacking in Australia. Sebastian Dunn was released from police custody without charge. The stabbing of the policeman was classified as an accident. The policeman returned to duty a few months later. Sebastian now lives in a cottage in Crado with his mother and brother Clark Dunn. Sebastian and Clark have denied links to a number of cats that have disappeared since their arrival in the village. Fire and World Dunn were tried and convicted at the Old Bailey in London. They were each sentenced to life in prison. The judge recommended they serve a minimum of 25 years. As Scargill Dunn was only 17 and had no previous criminal convictions, he was sentenced to only four years in a young offender's prison. With early release for good behaviour, he could be out within two years. He has begun studying for A-level exams and hopes to go to university after he is released. Police suspect Eleanor Evans is a member of Help Earth who helped to plan the anthrax attacks on Petricon 2004. No evidence was found and she was released from custody without charge. She now lives in Brighton with her mother, her son Gregory Evans and her newly born daughter Tiffany. Brian Bungle Evans slipped MI5 surveillance after a few weeks. He is now one of the world's most wanted men. Police in Britain, the United States, France and Venezuela all wish to question him about terrorist activity. Joanna Ribble was disappointed that Ross Lee didn't write or call. She now has a new boyfriend. James kept her paper aeroplane and the photograph of the tree where they first kissed. Kyle Blumen returned from his 18th mission and finally got his Navy Cherub shirt. He was reportedly upset that James got his Navy shirt before him. Kyle reckons James only got the Navy shirt because Mac felt sorry for him when he got anthrax. Bruce Norris and Kerry Chang frequently remind James that although he earned a Navy shirt, they have both done more missions than him and can easily kick his butt any time he starts to get cocky. Amy Collins hopes to complete a couple more missions before she leaves Cherub and goes to university. Lauren Adams, formerly Lauren Onions, is enjoying life at Cherub. She starts basic training shortly after her 10th birthday in September 2004. James Adams, formerly James Choke, got his karate black belt shortly after returning from his mission. His exuberant celebrations ended badly, and his punishment was one month cleaning up in the Cherub kitchen every night after dinner. He is currently preparing for his second mission 